the continuing adventures of Mink Rockmore. Dispatch from the CN Sun Motel, room 18, 79 Desert Shore Drive, Thermal, California, on the shores of the Salton Sea. August 26th, 2017. It's 4.26 a.m. and there's something weird in my room. It's not good. It moves very quickly and erratically, always managing to keep out of my direct sight line. It was just now on my bed, a shadowy figure making unwanted commotion. And then it completely disappears and is suddenly quiet. My first guess is Super Lizard. Its shadowy figure seems about lizard size. But my instinct on this, it's not a lizard. This, I must admit, is not good. First thought after definitely knowing for sure this thing is in my room. A quick inventory. Find something that I can use to fight this thing. What I can currently reach for from my bed. My Canon 70D. No. My MacBook Pro. No. My brand new Samsung PC. Maybe. My iPhone. No. My Bose Soundlink Color Series Bluetooth wireless speaker. Mm. 12 silver rings. No. Silver solar powered citizen wristwatch. Nothing stands out as a good potential weapon. Anything I use here is going to cost me. But if I have to defend myself from a deranged, rabid, radioactive desert rat, I guess it's goodbye to the Samsung PC. Now I hear it scuttling again. I stand up and state the obvious. It's you or me, pal. It's gonna have to go down and it won't be good. We can do this the easy way or we can do this the way that wakes up everyone at the Sea and Sun Motel and causes damages. Or let's say more damages. This room has a very damages-in-progress feel. Upon entering room 18, the rug was the first thing I noticed. It was unusual looking. It was so stained and dirty that the original tan color had taken on a very dark hue. Lots of huge stains with lots of scattered spatterings. Well beyond trying to hide anything, the horrible stains are right out in the open. The second thing I noticed in room 18 was the bed right in the middle of the room. Much smaller than a queen size bed, but not quite a twin. The quilt on the bed was the requisite 80s thinned out floral pattern, probably shouldn't touch it. But something looked wrong with the bed in general, proportionally. I actually lifted the bedspread to check to see if there was really a mattress under there. There was a mattress, but there was definitely something off. No springs in the box spring, maybe? Next to the left of the bed, I see a fridge. A totally out of place, brand new, shiny white, Americana brand, family size refrigerator and freezer. 
what, why, who, for what? They must have gotten a deal, I thought. Stolen is a strong word. Then in front of the bed, a small 80s color television. Color TV was advertised on the sign out front. The TV had particularly bad reception and sat on a plywood-looking TV stand in front of the only window in the room. To the right of the bed, a weird bulbous Indian-looking lamp with a mismatched shade and dubious electrical cord on a crap wood nightstand. The only other furniture in the room is a round phony wood table with no chairs and in the wall next to the window an old AC with notes from the management with helpful energy saving requests like please leave the AC off when leaving the room. The only sink in this motel room is oddly placed on the left side of the bedroom. There is no sink in the bathroom. This is not totally uncommon, but it's still weird. The bathroom is and smells dangerous for a person's health. For some reason, the temperature in this bathroom is approximately 125 degrees. The temperature does not cool down in the bathroom at any time in the next 24 hours. I will take a shower in here eventually, but the two words I'm already thinking are... Shower shoes. This room is cheap by anyone's standards, but the piece de resistance in this codes of all kind breaking motel room is the toiletries offered by the kind folk at the CN Sun. Two small, cheap, clear plastic cups wrapped in thin plastic, stacked. One very small square piece of motel soap and one very small tube of something being identified as shampoo. However, I believe it to be a cheap and heavily fragranced body wash. This motel is so low down that you don't even need to give them a deposit to stay. That's rare. And what's even more rare is the fact that the advertised one day room rental price is the actual one day room rental price 50 bucks that's it no hidden fees no tax no extra fee no fee fee very rare indeed in fact the general policy at the cn sun motel seems to be a no questions asked, please don't ask, don't ask, we don't tell, you don't tell, and we don't care policy. I can appreciate that kind of policy, but right now I hear scuttling. I look down on my bed, to find my phone and get my bearings. And that's when I see a huge, oversized, ugly insect 
on my phone's lit up screen. This insect is a dirty brown color and has stopped scuttling. In fact, now he looks like he's given up. All legs and antenna and nasty eyes. He desperately needed to get to the light. And he got to the light and that was it. I put a quick in my step and dutifully collect the two plastic covered plastic cups and kindly scoop up my new friend who I have named Jiminy. Making sure to keep Jiminy safely in cup. I carefully walk to the door. I unlock the door and set Jiminy free into the early morning salt and sea air. And this air is unlike any other air I have ever smelled in my life. The wide Sultan Sea. But that is another story for another time.